Hello and welcome to this how-to video by Robin the Viewer. Today I'm going to be looking at configuring and setting up and using the Trond uh, low latency Bluetooth headphones, the Trond TDBH01 and the Trond BT Duo 2 uh, wireless transmitter and receiver, which is also low latency. So I've currently got both of the items here on charge. So this is the transmitter receiver, the Duo 2, and as you can see that has actually finished charging as the little LED at the back here is not lit, so we can take that off. It has its own internal battery so it can be used either while still powered via USB or with the internal battery. And we've also got the Trond headphones and you can see just here we've got the red LED indicating that these are still charging. But for the purpose of this I'm going to take them off, make it a bit easier. So I'm going to show you three different setups uh, just so that you can appreciate just the amount of flexibility that you get with the uh, Duo 2 and how you can use the headphones with them to get that low latency. So first off we are going to take the Duo 2 and we're going to connect it to the laptop with the provided AUX cable and so we're going to use the Trond as a transmitter. So it's going to become our Bluetooth source taking the output from the headphones on the laptop and that will then give us a low latency Bluetooth signal that we can pick up with the headphones. So we've got the headphone socket on the back. This is both an input and an output depending on how you've got them configured. So connect that in there. On the side here we want to use them as a transmitter and so we'll take the other end and pop that into the headphone socket. So with nothing plugged into the headphone socket as you'll see we've got a video there which gives us a synchronized audio and video so that we can see just how long the delay is. So I've plugged the Trond in now so we've got the power on the back, so if we press and hold the power for three seconds we get this regular flashing light and if we want to then switch that into pairing mode we've got the button on the side here. So we're going to press that but fairly closely after that we're going to turn on the headphones and get them synced to it. So let's do this so that you can see everything that's going on. So we're going to press the pairing button and that means that this now goes into a rapid flashing. We then press and hold the power button. Power on. As you can hear she says power on. Ready to pair. And then she says ready to pair. So we can see that because these two are close together we got a different flashing on there and now what we've got is three flashes every 10 seconds. Now uh, the excellent instructions with these tells us that three flashes every 10 seconds is the APTX low latency mode. So we can pop that box down there. Now we've got the headphones and on the headphones what you can see in here what you'll see is that there is both a green light and a blue light and this indicates that we have Bluetooth and we have low latency APTX Bluetooth. So if I put the headphones now close to the camera and we start the video back off again. Okay. 
you can see that there is no noticeable delay. The image in the centre is flashing at exactly the same time as we hear the beep from the headphones and at the same time the bar comes and touches down at the bottom at exactly that same time. So you can tell that you are experiencing incredibly low latency. So that's one way that we can use this and that means that we can now have Bluetooth from any device which has an audio output. We've got the standard uh, 3.5 aux cable here, there's also the phono cable and there's also optical. So that's one mode that we can use it in. So now we're going to have a look at the second mode. In this second mode what I'm going to show is how we use the Trond Duo 2 to be a receiver as the laptop does actually have Bluetooth built in, what we can do now is switch to receiver mode and turn on with the power on the back. Again, three seconds. And now we can see a red light because we are a red receiver. Now, what we're going to have to do is switch the laptop across so that we are ready to pair and I want to add a device so now if I press the pairing button on the side here we get rapid flashing here and the laptop has picked up the Trond BT Duo 2 ready to pair so if we click on that and say pair, what we'll see is this rapid red goes back to a slower red and we are connected and ready. So what this means now is that we now have almost a headphone socket on here. So we can take a standard pair of headphones. We've now finished So as you can see here, the Windows has paired to the Trond BT Duo 2, which is now connected, and you'll see on the box that we get this red connection. And that now means that if we go back to playing our video, the sound is now coming out of the headphones. Now what you can see is that there is now a li little bit more of a lag. The latency is not so low because although this has got low latency, the Bluetooth in the PC has not. So we do get a bit more of a lag, but if we have something which is transmitting low latency we can use this box again to continue with low latency and pull low latency back out and plug in a non Bluetooth device to play back the audio. So that is the second mode of operation. The third and final section of this how to video that I'm going to show you is how to use the Trond Bluetooth headphones without the Duo 2 with the standard Bluetooth transmitter. So as we know the computer already has Bluetooth so we are going to switch to the Bluetooth and I'm going to now turn on the headphones with the power but keep it pressed past the first announcement so that it goes into pairing mode. Just see so until that is we're going to hold that close enough. There you go. Now we see that the device has appeared as a pairable device. We choose to pair that. There we go. So now what we have is the flashing blue light. 
and now it's connected and we've got the solid blue light. So again if we return to this video and we play it again we're getting the audio through the headphones but it's just not quite as on the beat as it was when we were using the Duo 2 as the transmitter. Still perfectly acceptable and if you're listening to music then you're not really going to notice. But if you have something where your picture is synced to the audio that you're receiving through Bluetooth then low latency APTX is definitely the way to go. And the perfect partnership is the Trond Bluetooth headphones and the Trond BT Duo 2. I hope that has helped you understand what can be done and how to configure them. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful tech reviews and how-tos. Thank you for watching.